What up again, it's Josh from Keep It Techie and today I want to do a quick video on the history command. Now first I want to talk about what the history command is. The history command is a built-in utility in all Linux operating systems. The utility basically use your bash history, which is a file that's stored in your home directory. And by default, the history command will show the last 500 commands you have entered on the system. So it's a pretty basic command. So let's jump right in it. So first off, let me log into my virtual machine. Uh, I have Ubuntu with the XFCE desktop on it uh, in a virtual machine. So, and this is the operating system I want to show you this command on. Now that we've logged into the system, let me go down and show you guys uh, how the command works. So we need to first op open the terminal uh, and I will zoom in so you guys can see exactly what I'm typing. Now that's good. So the first thing I want to do is show you the man page for history. So it's man history and press enter on that and it will bring up the manual for the history command it'll give you a brief description as well as the options and tell you what they what they mean uh, and just some information about it so you can type this command in and see the manual page yourself and read a little more um, but i will get into showing you guys how to use it so let's press q to quit and let's clear this out so let's run the command um, how you normally would. You can run it using history. Just type history and that's it. And press enter. And this will pull up, it will print out the last 500 commands you have ran. And as you can see, I only have 122 commands um, because since I've installed this operating system, I've only ran 100 and some commands uh, in the system. So that's why it's only showing 120, 122 commands. Um, and like I said, this command uses the bash, bash history command or the bash, bash underscore history uh, file, which contains all the uh, commands that have you, you have ran on this system for. And I believe it keeps 500 and it'll uh, it'll move up as as it goes. It'll it'll erase the latest command I mean the oldest command to make room for newer commands as you're running through it so let me clear this out and I want to show you guys the bash or see commit uh, I mean the bash history um, file so if we go um, and I'm gonna just use the cat command just to show you guys and we're gonna cat home sorry about that home uh, Josh and dot and it's a hidden file that's why it has a dot in front of it so dot bash underscore and i'm gonna tash, tab it uh history and press enter and as you can see it's the same exact thing that popped up it just it's just not numbered the history command numbers it but this is the file that it actually uses and this is on all linux systems they have a bash history for the uh, person for the user account they create one for each user account so you can actually cat other people's if you have permission root permissions you can uh, print out all the commands that were ran by all all the different users by going into their home directory and then pulling up this uh, dot bash underscore history file so let's clear that out Okay, so the next way I want to run this command is basically history. And then I want to put a number. Let's say I only want to see the last 25 commands. So you can go history and then 25. Press enter on that and it will show you the last 25 commands that were ran on this system. Um, and you can also, you know, do it with any number. So uh, 18 and it will show the last 18 commands. Okay, so the next way I want to show you guys how to run this command is by using another command with it. So uh, the way you do this is history. And then what we want to do is pipe it 
into less. And what this does is, just to explain before I get into it, um, this will allow you to show to move one line at a time. And this is useful when you're working at a terminal that doesn't have, you know, the scroll and all that, or you can use your little uh, uh, roll pad uh, to scroll up and down in the commands. Uh, you you will use this in order to to show one line at a time basically well it'll show as many as it can in the terminal and then it'll allow you to go up and down by hitting the spacebar that'll take you down a line and then or you can use the up and down arrow so let's run this command so you can see what I'm talking about so as you can see it puts this colon down here and it lets you know it's more uh, data below this it shows the first the first hundred I mean the first 23 commands and the only reason uh, it shows 23 is because that's how big my terminal is at the moment if it was smaller it would show a certain amount then but now I can go up and down on the commands by pressing the up and down arrow that's what I'm doing right now and also you can hit the space bar and it'll page it'll uh, skip down uh, a page on it so that's a good way of running the command like I said if you're you're uh, using a terminal that doesn't have a, a scroll bar or or anything like that so and the way you get out of this you just press Q for quit and it will take you back to the terminal so let's clear this out so another way I want to show you this command is by running history and that and also pipe into tail and basically what that means is the tail end of all your commands so if you got 500 commands it's going to only pull the last 25 commands so this is an easy way to get to the bottom of your uh, history file uh, and show you the last 25 commands so let's run it and so we can see and actually i was mistaken it shows you the last 10. so the last way i want to show you guys how to run this command is by using grep as well as less and grep will allow you to search for specific keywords that you uh, specify um, that were used their previous commands so i will run the command so you guys can see how to do it so it's basically history and then we want to pipe which is the, up, the straight up and down line uh, grep dash i and then sorry about that dash i and then that specific keyword or search term whatever you want to call it um and i'll just do ls because i know i've ran the ls command a whole lot so and then also we want to pipe this into less so if we press enter on that and it has pulled um all the commands that have the ls command in it and that way you can see what you you know you can search for that specific keyword and it'll go through and find whatever command that has that keyword or search term in it um, so after you run that it's uh, the way to get out of it is is Q and, um, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video please like share and subscribe uh, and of course keep it techie